I messed up. Like I really messed up again and I knew better. Oh my God. In this video, I am gonna be giving you my top 10 mistakes to avoid. And y'all, I definitely have experience in this department. This particular mistake, I could actually do a whole video on, but I'm not gonna do. Do not, I repeat, do not co-sign or purchase a vehicle for somebody else in your name, expecting that person to actually make the payments on time. Nine times out of 10, no, 9.5 times out of 10 they're not going to do it. And then you're going to be left having to worry about those payments, the insurance, if they get tickets, if they get tolls, just don't do it. The next mistake that you want to avoid is making sure that you spend enough time with your family and your friends while they're here. I had a godmother who lived in Atlanta when I first moved here. And after I moved here, she passed away. And during the time that we were both here, I didn't spend enough time with her. And that has always been a regret of mine. So if I were you, I would make sure that I really cherish my friends and family while they're here. Another big mistake that people make is by neglecting their health. It is so important that you go to the doctor on a regular basis and that you listen to your body when your body is telling you that something is wrong. Some people are afraid to go to the doctor because of bad news, but you would much rather go to the doctor than to find out that something has gone um, unchecked for so long that now it's become significant. Make sure that you are drinking your water, that you're going to the doctor on a regular basis. And that means that you're gonna be here longer for the people that you love. Waiting too late to leave a relationship or a friendship. Sometimes there are people that we meet in our lives and they're just not here for the long haul. It might be a reason, a season, and if it is any of those things, then there's a time period where we have to let those people go. And we have to get the strength to end those relationships before we let it get to some type of crazy confrontation or some type of situation where it all boils over or where it negatively impacts our life, our spirituality, our mental health. When you can tell or when your intuition is showing you that something is not right for you, you have a relationship or a friendship where you feel like it's time to let go, let go. The next mistake I'm going to discuss is are you unhappy at work? And if you are, then you need to quit your job right now. Don't even think about it. You don't even need to give them a notice. Just walk away. You need to make a plan and you need to execute that plan. It is possible. You have to keep a positive attitude during this time. If you stay in a job you hate for a prolonged period of time, that is going to negatively impact all aspects of your life. Make sure you check out my video and I am going to definitely link it above or below or somewhere on the screen um, where I talk about being unhappy in the workplace and some things that can help while you're still at work. All right, so this one is super important for your happiness in your life. You have got to learn how to say no. A lot of people make the mistake of always being a yes person. Yes, I'll drive you over here. Yes, I'll loan you this money. Yes, I can help you with this. You have to get to a point where you're able to tell people, no, I just don't have enough time. And sometimes you don't even have the mental time, okay? The mental energy to exert towards that particular activity or that particular thing that someone wants you to help them with. And it is perfectly okay for you to say no. Failure is always better than regret. That dream or idea that you have, go after it. The people who are most successful in life are the people who continuously try, try again. It doesn't mean they're going to be successful the first time, the second time, the fifth time, the hundredth time. But guess what? It is going to happen. When you put your mind on something, when you truly focus on something, you will be able to be successful in that. You just have to believe it. When you believe it, you know it, you manifest it, you're always gonna wonder what could have been different. How would your life have changed if you had actually taken that leap of faith? Be careful who you trust. A mistake that people make is associating with trusting people 
that they see negative signs from. They know something isn't right, but they still continue to interact or deal with this person. They continue to give this person opportunities to even let them down. And you all, this can even be family, not just people that you're friends with. So make sure you are always keeping your eyes open to every situation and that you're using your intuition. Another mistake that people make is not being in control of your finances. You want to make sure that you're answering your mail, that you're answering your email, that you're getting in contact with the debt collectors that you have. There are payment arrangements that can be made. There are payment plans that are available. But if you don't talk to them, then you can never put together any of those things. You're going to be paying higher interest rates on everything. And I know it can be a really anxious feeling to speak with them, but it feels a whole lot better once you've put something in place and now you can move forward and go on to the next thing. Now you're not ducking down hoping that you don't have to talk to that company. So just make sure that you keep your finances in order because your finances are related to everything, right? We want to be able to purchase homes. We want to have land ownership. Um, we want to be able to start successful businesses and get credit lines legal. Yeah, I said it. Um, so just make sure that you are in charge of your finances. Sometimes people forget to focus on their inner selves. You have got to do the inner work to get the outer life that you dream of. That means that you need to be taking care of yourself, that you need to be constantly gaining knowledge, that you need to be coming up with different plans for the things that you want in your life. But you have to work on yourself. Make sure that you're mentally whole. Make sure that you're spiritually whole. You are in charge of your destiny. If you really want something, then take the necessary steps and go get it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in any of my other content, hit that subscribe button. Be blessed.